And we're going to take a turn now. And as the temperatures rises, children riding school buses over the summer are feeling the heat. 23 ABC's Mark Christian tells us about one parent's concerns tonight. A parent from the Fairfax School District contacted 23 ABC after her son was dehydrated and lethargic exiting the school bus Tuesday afternoon. He didn't walk off the bus. They carried him off the bus and handed him to me. He was soaking wet and in distress. And the staff was also in distress. Cotton's three-year-old son, Cash, rides the school bus two days a week while he attends special education preschool for speech therapy at Virginia Avenue Elementary. He had a 40-minute bus ride home in 110 degree temperature. I'm not sure if he had any access to water or what relief policies are in place. School districts in general are not legally required to provide air conditioning on buses unless a special education student has specific requirements. It seems simple. All buses should have air conditioning. And it does seem simple. But again, the average uh, age of, of buses in our fleet is 14 years old. Some parents say riding home in a hot school bus is something students have been dealing with for years. Okay, I get what people are saying that for years we traveled on buses that didn't have air conditioning, didn't have the luxuries, had to walk in the snow. For most districts, providing air conditioning is not a present option due to state funding. The Fairfax School District currently has nine school buses and one of their newer ones is equipped with an air conditioner. It's understandable, certainly understandable, and, and again, we'd love to provide air conditioning on all of our buses and we look forward to when the state throws that money uh, into that uh, replacement program that we can do. That. Cotton says she's not asking for older school buses to be retrofitted. She just hopes that school districts in the county think about offering water to their bus riding students when it gets hot. I am asking on these specific days where temperatures reach triple digits for some sort of policy we can put in place to offer relief. And the school district says this is the first complaint they've ever received about the lack of air conditioning on school buses.